Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off in Switzerland in the city of Ventador. Um, hopefully I'm not butchering the name, but as of now I am uh, on this rooftop area at this hostel that I'm staying at here. This is the Hostel Depot. Um, it's pretty cool and this is a pretty cool, pretty cool place. Let's check out some of these views. Huh, Swiss made. Last night when I checked in, it was about 200 people down here in this area, and there was like a, a screen here. Everyone was watching, um, watching stuff on the screen. It was pretty cool. I see some solar panels down there. I was just gonna go explore this area, grab some food, see what type of sites we can find, and just, uh, you know, make another video and keep it random. So yeah, let's get this video started. Oh, check that out. I see a lot of really, really cool things around here that I've never seen anywhere else. Like, like that thing, like what was that? He looked like he was delivering mail or delivering packages or something like that. That looks like a really good idea. Why haven't I seen that anywhere else in the world? Have anybody else seen anything like that? That's like super cool. I noticed like pretty much all the windows have like shades on them. That lets me know that the sun is like intense around here. All right, here we go. Let's keep going down this way. Let's see what's down here. It's lunchtime and you guys know I could definitely go for food like all the time. Man, look at all these bikes. Bikes are huge around here. There's just bikes everywhere. Like lots of electric bikes too. People are smart with the electric bikes. Switzerland is a very, very healy country. So, you know, you go up and you go down. Just traveling through the Alps, it's just like this, like woo, woo. Woo, and there's a tunnel, there's another another tunnel, there's like another big hill, it's it's gorgeous. I would love to explore this place on an electric bike. Well, just walking around, I've counted about five or six bike shops. Just walking around, I notice a lot of bikes. I also notice a lot of bike shops. I've probably passed about five or six different bike shops. That's a, that's a really good sign, actually. When you cycle, you don't have to pay for public transportation, and you also get free exercise at the same time. I, everybody I see around here is like super small, by the way. All right, we got us a church over here. Get this one. Got the construction workers out doing their thing. What a nice breezy day. Yesterday was a little on the warm side and I take it, it's probably gonna warm up later. <laughs> Well, also check out this place. They actually sell weed here. Like literally, they sell weed here. I just popped into that cannabis store and just walked in and they just had like weed here and weed there and weed there. And I'm like, whoa, you guys like sell weed? Is this like recreation or is this medical? And she says it's uh, CBD. And I'm like, uh, CBD? And she's like, yeah, 1%. And I was like, 1%? She's like, yeah, it won't get you high. And I'm thinking, Oh, it won't get you high? What do you mean it won't get you high? It's not like California, right? Oh, no, not like California. California is more like 25%. And I was like, oh, okay, 1% versus 25%. Oh, I get it, I get it. And then she said, maybe in two years, it'll be legalized completely here. And I'm thinking, oh, cool, cool. So my next question, what happens if I buy herb from that place? And then I also have some other herb and I get stopped by a cop, like what would they? I mean, would it be cool? I mean, how would they know the difference? How would they know that this is not that? Or how would they know that this is not from another place? Or how would they know that this is not 25%, you know? I don't know, this is just an observation. So it looks like there's um, plenty of action going on, plenty of shopping. This is like the area to be in. I just found this Starbucks here and it's been some time since I've been to a Starbucks. I know I get a lot of um, bashing when I go to Starbucks, but I'm, I'm about to go anyway, so start bashing. Okay, there's this way, and then there's this way. For some reason, let's not go to Starbucks now. Let's go this way. Yo, check out this subway. So that's like 15.90 Swiss francs. Starbucks, look at the water. That's like $5 for a bottle of water, yeah. Okay, guys, in Starbucks now, and I just ordered my usual. This is a black tea sweeten, and this is a tall size. This was 640 Swiss francs, US dollars, that's about $6.80. Uh, 
um, <laughs> which is uh, yeah almost double the price of San Francisco. In San Francisco, this would cost about, if I'm not mistaken, this would cost two dollars and twenty-five cents. In New York, I believe this costs like around three dollars or something like that. So just to um, point that out. Cool beans, all done with Starbucks, but Starbucks wasn't the main event. The main event was food. I found a Thai restaurant that's um, right around here. Let's go and uh, let's go get some Thai food. It's been so long since I have Thai food. I can't remember the last time I had Thai food. I think it was um, probably back in San Francisco because I definitely don't remember having Thai food in New York. No, Boston. I had Thai food in Boston. I found this Thai restaurant here. It actually reminds me of Thailand and the food just arrived. Wow, that took like like literally four minutes. I ordered and it's like bam, right here. Fast, fast service. Cool beans just left that Thai restaurant. Man, the food was amazing. I why why did it take me so long to get Thai food? It was like twenty dollars. It wasn't like it wasn't incredibly expensive. Um, and also I tipped um, the waiter in bots because I have like money from pretty much all the countries I've been to this year. So I, I gave the the server like a hundred baht, and she just like her face just lit up because like she's from Thailand and she knows what a hundred baht is. And and I mean, come on, like this is Switzerland. Who gives a waiter a hundred baht? Jermaine does. <laughs> let's uh let's keep walking. Oh, a human-sized chess game. I wish I had someone to play with. Wow, that's one really really big umbrella there, huh? I guess this is one of the main strips here. There's lots of shops and restaurants and nice trees to sit under and waterfalls and let's see what's this way. Something else that I notice here a lot besides the waterfalls, I notice a lot of skaters and majority of them are girls and they're they're like really really good and these are not like electric skateboards these are like the regular skateboard well i guess there's one of those push cars well no not a push car a bike dang it's electric Dude, it looks like a little spaceship. Man, the Swiss, they must be good at chess or something. I'm seeing these all over. What is this, like a Swiss, Swiss garbage can? I guess so, huh? Wow, what a day, what a day, what a day, man. That Thai food earlier was so good. Oh uh -huh, man, I actually should go back to that place. So what did I do? I kind of stopped vlogging like hours ago. I ended up meeting some people at the park and we ended up having a couple beers at the park, which was super cool. Um, I noticed that a lot of people here in Switzerland, they'll just go to the grocery store and buy beer because beer is like maybe a dollar fifty or two dollars, just uh, the, you know, in US dollars. And they'll just go sit and drink at the park and they'll just watch the sunset. And it's a little bit different. You don't necessarily have to go to a bar. Most places in the U.S. you cannot drink at parks legally. I mean, people still do it, but you can get in trouble. But around here, it's just it's just super common. You can just drink at the park. Like, it's just, it's super cool. I like it. I just saw the most unusual sign in the toilet. I have to show you guys. Yo, so what is this all about? Stand up for your rights? Sit down and take a piss? What? They want dudes to sit down and take a piss here in Switzerland? Oh, I've never heard of this before. Now, I understand in the comments, I'm not as active sometimes. So sometimes it looks like I don't respond to comments, but I usually read every single comment. And one comment that I saw popping up, Jermaine, go out, like, go out, let's see what the nightlife is like. And there's a couple reasons why I don't really do nightlife that much. Um, first off, it's kind of hard to take a camera and film nightlife because it's usually dark. And it's usually really, really loud with, like, other music. And I'll have to, like, you know, take the music and switch it with other music and that also means that if I'm actually talking to the camera like that's that that part's not gonna be there and I'm just not really the partier type guy I'm just not like a partier like I'm that's just not my environment um yeah that's just that's why I don't really just go out and just go hit up nightlife and stuff hit up bars and stuff because it's just a scene that like I was I was involved when I was younger, but now like I'm I'm 31, so I feel like I'm like crazy old, and I just don't 
just uh, just the bar scene is just not my scene. It's just not the most uplifting environment for me. You know, every now and then I'll go check out bars and stuff like that, but that's not the main reason why I travel. I just I mainly travel to make YouTube videos and just to create content and you know, going to a freaking club, paying, you know, twenty dollars to get in and you know, waiting in line for a drink and then the drink's gonna be overpriced and then if I gotta go pee, I'm gonna have to wait in line again. And it, I think life's too short for all of that. When I was younger, that's something that I was down with doing, but now since I'm older, more wiser, more chilled out, it's just something that I'm just I'm just not so into doing anymore. So I just kind of want to answer that question because I know sometimes I'm in the comments and I will respond, but then other days I'm just busy and I just don't respond as much. So I thought I would, you know, point that out. But anyway, I think I'm gonna get ready to call it a night. I'm just, I'm exhausted and it's been a rocking day and it's just been another, another adventure, yo. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo.